hairdo I have going on makes it look like I have shorter and blonder hair. This is a look. I love it. I love it. You know, when I get married, I plan on at some point wanting to cut my hair shorter and make it blonder. So this gives me a nice inside look of that. Today has been a chill yet productive day. Started off by having to leave our condo early because we had maids coming in to clean up our room. So we headed over to the farmer's market and it was really good because it was my first time there this year. Afterwards, we went over to HomeSense, jumped on the boat and jumped right off the boat not long after because rain clouds were coming in and started trickling it looked really gray outside so we knew we couldn't stay out there for long and then my mom and i just got back from having a meeting with my wedding photographer really excited to work with this person they are based here in Kelowna, so it worked out really well that we were able to meet them and talk with them for my wedding been a good day in general <laughs> Una, oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's what you got, is it? Alright, so I'm not gonna say too much in this part of my vlog but something very exciting happened today and the only way you'll find out is in my wedding dress journey video part three which will be out at some point i don't know when but i'm gonna say that i'm just so happy right now we are going to go to the boat and be with family and it's a really nice day out so I'm finally gonna break out into a nice swimsuit of mine oh by the way look how cute my outfit is today these shorts are from Aritzia and this top is from Zara it's just my favorite outfit this summer So we got off the boat and the first thing I did was watch the first two episodes of Escape the Night. Wow. I'm going to be mentioning some spoilers so if you haven't seen the first two episodes of season four of Escape the Night, please do not watch the rest of this portion. I'm going to give you a few more seconds. I should probably shut the door. That should do it. I'm really shocked that we saw Liza Koshi right away and unfortunately she got killed right away. But it was nice to have her there even though she isn't part of the main cast this season. I think just even acknowledging her presence in like the first few seconds was really awesome. I was definitely shocked and loved seeing her. I hope we see more of the other dead guests, especially Shane because they kind of teased that in the trailer where Shane was mentioned so hopefully he can come out of nowhere too and I would totally lose my mind I was very impressed that Tana was able to pull through in the elimination however I felt really bad for Justine I was kind of rooting for her just because she was unfairly killed in her season so that really sucks I am however rooting for Rosanna and Timothy de la Ghetto and Bretman 
He was so funny in these episodes. It's just I'm really rooting for him as well, especially considering that he has not been in the series before, which matters. These people have died and he is just this fresh new face. So I'm really hoping he pulls through. So my mom and I are going to go out for sushi. Yay. And the first time as well this trip because it's been a while. She hasn't gone even like on her own she wanted to wait for me how sweet we go to our favorite restaurant called blue tail if you haven't been and you're in the Kelowna area and you love sushi uh please go you're doing yourself a favor it's amazing their black california rolls are insane insane <laughs> I slept in until 11.30 this morning, then we went out on the boat for 1 o'clock, and we got back, I think, at 3.30, and we've just been at home this whole time, just relaxing, sleeping, doing whatever. I've been watching Escape the Night Season 4, Episode 1 and 2, like, repetitively whether it's watching it or playing it in the background if i was doing something else but um i'm obsessed <laughs> from what i've explained nothing much has happened today but it's all good i totally didn't mind a chill day the clouds keep rolling in you know that's a whole other story wish there wasn't so many clouds but it was still a good day and even on days like this I definitely want to try my best to vlog something because in the past I would definitely put like oh this day didn't have much going on so I didn't film anything or include anything but I want to try my best to not miss a day throughout these next few vlogs. Keep watching episodes one and two until the third episode comes out because I'm just so obsessed with this show. <laughs> I even bought, I just made my first YouTube merch purchase. I just bought a Escape the Night hoodie. Nobody knows, but you might find out watching this video. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be good. It's going to be cute. It's going to look good on me. I'm going to sleep. <laughs>
I never gave you guys a rundown on what happened yesterday, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. My mom and I got a ton of stuff from the farmer's market yesterday. Things like garlic, shrimp, salmon, and three things of this delicious Ogopogo salsa chipotle flavored because we love having a little spice in our life we had my grandpa over for the night and he slept on this very bed of mine we were able to have supper together and we all had something different they had one thing my mom and i had another but basically my mom and i made food uh partially that we got from the farmer's market as well as me making my very own alfredo sauce for my pasta which kind of didn't turn out because I burnt the garlic a bit so the sauce turned brown but it tasted really good for my first time since I last made one with my future sister-in-law and I'll keep practicing so today we just went out on the boat with my grandpa as well as some family and friends we did a little rescue mission where this boat the motor stopped working or it died I don't know but we were able to help bring them over to the gas station and get it all fixed up Hopefully it's fixed. It was a nice sunny day today. You know, still cloudy, but we were able to get a lot of sun in. And I'm really stoked for the rest of this night because my dad and I are doing Scandia. It's our little tradition. It's a little father-daughter thing. We love doing this. We do it every year. Never heard of Scandia? Well, you're in for a treat. This is what Scandia is. We're on the second hole and I saw hole in one! Woo! Yeah! Oh snap! Uh, <laughs> we lost the ball. Do you know where it went? <laughs> oh, this looks good. Oh! Good job. Good job. It does this every time. It's done this like four times throughout an entire game. I'm not even... Uh. See, it did it again! Okay. Get in there! <laughs> that is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Me. Do <laughs> we have a comment from it before you tee off? Um, wish me luck. We wish you luck and we're all watching from the CNN and overhead chopper. Good luck, Otto. Thank you. If one of us gets this hole in one, we get a ticket for our free game. So wish me luck. Oh, oh it jumped over it. It. it rigged me. It jumped right over the hole, but technically I did get it. I just didn't get a ticket. I was the only one that got a hole in one in this entire game, so at least I have that. Final score. Dad, 50. Autumn, 49. Autumn is the champion. No, no, I yeah, don't believe Autumn. you. <laughs> Autumn is the champion. You were beating me, I know it. Well, you won by one stroke. I don't believe you. Yeah, you, the, <laughs> you didn't even do the math, I don't you believe you. <laughs> you know what, I think we both are. Sometimes we get generous with the... Thank you. <laughs> I 
with the champ. Well, I think we get generous with uh, mulligans and stuff, so I think we both won because you kind of lose track of the actual score because we're just so giving. Now, uh, he wants some coins to play some video games. Yeah. You won one, I won one. That's fair.